Dance, Tanya. Dance, Tanya. Story by Patricia Lee Gouch. Illustrated by Satomi Ichikawa. Little Tanya loved to dance. When her older sister Elise put on her leotards and slippers to practice, Tanya put on her shirt and took off her shoes to practice too. When Elise did her positions, first, second, fourth, and fifth, Tanya did too. When Elise did a perfect plie, Tanya did too. When Elise practiced her pirouette and arabesque, Tanya did the same. Tanya particularly liked to do the arabesque. Sometimes Tanya liked to dance alone. Or dance a pas de deux with her ballerina bear, Barbara. And when her mother put on Swan Lake, and Elise danced a whole song in arabesques and jetés right across the living room floor, Tanya put on her tutu and danced arabesques and jetés across the living room floor, too. Tanya made a very good sad swan. But when Elise went to her lesson and Tanya wanted to go, too, her mother said, You're too little, Tanya. Some day. And so sometimes Tanya would go along, but only to watch her sister Elise and all of the other dancers through the big window as they danced their arabesques and their jetés across the wide dance floor. One day, when it was spring and the flowers were opening their eyes, Elise got ready for a special dance recital. She put on a new tutu with petals and pink lipsticks which she was never to use, and a dab of rouge on each cheek, and her mother combed her hair into a long, beautiful, silky braid. And everybody came to see Elise dance. Grandma and Grandpa from the country came, Aunt May, who always wore a hat, and Uncle Ernie, who never smiled, came. And Tanya came and tried to see over the man with the lumpy hat who sat right in front of her. By sitting on her feet, Tanya could see that Elise was a wonderful flower, doing her arabesques and her plies just right. And soon, Tanya was very happy and sleepy as well. You have a dancer in your family, Aunt May whispered as the family left the large room with all the hats and the voices. Tanya did not even hear, for she was fast asleep in her mother's arms. But when they all got home and drank coffee and laughed and said what a good dancer Elise was, someone put on Swan Lake and Tanya woke up. And while nobody was looking, Tanya found her tutu and her scarf. And Tanya danced too, all alone. The music played loud and sweet, and she did a plie and arabesque and five grand jetés right across the floor. Dance, Tanya, her sister said, and her mother held her breath. Grandma looked over her glasses. You have two dancers in your family, she said. Everyone in the room clapped. Elise did, too. Tanya was such a wonderful sad swan. Bow, my Tanya, her mother said, and Tanya bowed. Then she crawled back up on her mother's lap like a tired kitten and went to sleep again. But her mother did not forget. On Christmas morning, Tanya discovered a large package under the tree for her. In it, she found a shiny case, a pair of her own leotards, and slippers just the right size. Come along, Tanya, her mother said when it was time to go to Elise's lesson. Bring your case, her sister said, and Tanya knew she wasn't too little any more. The End Thank you.